My name is Abraham Jongrol. I'm a community development coordinator for VIXEC New Futures. I work for VIXEC on, on a particular project. The project is called Sudanese Student Engagement Program. And that project started in um, 2014, providing scholarship to 20 South Sudanese students, mainly from high school. The main aim of that is uh, preventative measures because uh, there was a research done by Big Sack New Fishers in 2012. The project found out that a uh, number of students from Sudanese background are at risk of dropping out of high school before they finish year 12. Last year we, uh, we recruited uh, 20 students and those 20 students are from year 9 to year, 12, to year 11. And so we work with that, with those students, and those students are very successful. They finished their program that we prepared for them for the year. The program that I am running in Melton is being replicated in, uh, uh, in, uh, in Wyndham. Because a number of our kids have never been to a system like what we got here in Australia. So when they come to school, they are placed according to their age. So even if you were in a year two primary school in Africa and you are 14, you have to go to high school, which is really very hard. So that makes them vulnerable to, uh, uh, to, to drop out because they see other students are participating, but they are not participating enough and they see themselves as dull. So it is better for them to drop out because you know, People need to protect themselves, to consider themselves as, as part of the of intellect. But when they go to school, they look at themselves as really nobody. We have both. So in first place, we put it as a scholarship, and that scholarship involves money. So per student, we provide $1,000 based on a milestone because that's what we base our assessment on so we let them tell us what are they struggling with or what do they need to improve and what do they need to do most so from there we put that and we visit it every week we go to schools and then let them participate in what they want to do and again we find tutors to, to go and help them in, uh, in tutoring. And also, if we don't have a tutor on that particular subject, we provide those money and kids use them to hire uh, the private tutors. We have uh, a student, uh, parents, teachers committee. And those committees, uh, they are the one, for example, in, uh, when we are doing um, milestones, teachers, parents, us, and kids, we have to come together and formulate those uh, milestones in both uh, in perspective and social way. Uh, we need government to be involved in, in such a thing I replicate what we are doing in Melton in number of areas uh, because it is not only South Sudanese that are affected. All of uh, new emerging communities are affected in that way and that's why now they are contributing into into prison system because when they are not doing enough in the school they drop out and when they drop out they form gangs and from there they fall into hands of criminals those who sell drugs and so we need government to support such initiatives and give uh, some uh, grant to agencies that are trying to help communities like that. It is really, really very important for African communities to advocate uh, on behalf of their communities because uh, when we came here, we are learning. As we are learning, those who are able, who are capable of saying anything or seeing anything or trying to develop community, we are asking them to go out, tell government, tell agencies, 
what is lacking because community is struggling in many ways. So we need you to come out and let the uh, Australian community know what you are str struggling with. Thank you.